male lion tracks, but we're just taking a very short break from tracking that male lion to stop and have a look at my favorite herd of zebra who seem to be accompanied by a giraffe today. You can see the giraffe standing off to the right. So both species, incredible creature, incredible eyesight, just like the impala. They know we're here. They've already been staring at us. But now we're going to try and go a little bit closer. The giraffe has seen us. You can see he's actually looking at Herbie as he walks in front and so of the zebra. Now we know this herd of zebra, they're particularly relaxed, but we'll have to see how they are after Brent's act, uh, antics with them the other day. But perhaps if we don't walk towards them like a predator, we'll be okay, and maybe they'll give us another glorious sighting. Are you ready, Craig? Let's go. Now we have gotta get closer. We're gonna have to go through the grass at some point, which I'm absolutely dreading, but I'll do it for all of you. You know, I'll be brave and I'll just take one for the team, you know, no problem, get the carrot seed seeds in my socks and I'll, my legs will get nice and wet, but it's all right, no, I'm just teasing, of course. It's only water and it's really lovely at the moment because the sun has just popped over the horizon and this lovely golden light is now flashing through the sea of grass and illuminating the zebras, which is nice. The giraffe seems to have found itself some shade behind a tree and is not illuminated in the sun. Right, Craig, in we go. In we go, let's do this. So now the most important thing, zebras are quite funny, as I've had some really amazing encounters with, uh, not zebras, with giraffe. You can ask David as well about his giraffe encounters, because we we've worked on the same property before, many, many years ago. And what we used to do is not fall over, like I just did there, we used to zigzag towards the herds of giraffe. You walk there, then you walk there, then you walk there, then you walk there, and these massive herds of giraffe would be completely curious with you, and you'd actually sit down in the grass, but the grass is very short. I think if you were to sit down in this, they'd panic a bit because you'd completely disappear. So you'd sit down, and then the whole herd would sort of come around you. Not close, but about 20, 30 meters or so, which is still pretty close to be surrounded by 30 giraffe, and it was just the most unbelievable experience. However, I don't think we'll get anything along the lines of that today, but we'll give it a go. We'll just casually stroll, they know we're here. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not here. The giraffe is not very happy though. We'll just walk a little bit towards this marula where we can get the rest of them out in the open. And there's a pity, ah, uh, thank goodness, animal pathway will save us a little bit. My shoes now are also a different color, which is quite nice. I enjoy them, this chocolate brown color. Let's see if our zebbies remember us. It should be really nice if they do. I'll be very happy about that. Okay, Craig, how are your shoes going? Come, zebra, come to us. No giraffe. Our giraffe friend is very nervous. He's running away now. Of all of them, he probably saw us first. <laughs> but our zebras don't mind. There's a couple of them that are coming closer towards us again, so we'll, we'll still continue our approach to the marula tree. Our giraffe friend, well, I'm not too worried if he moves away slightly. He'll eventually get used to us, probably a bit worried about us. Let's keep going. Now, as we're moving around here, you'll actually see that the zebras will react to what the giraffe is doing. And that's just because, like Hunter's actually just asked, he wants to know if the zebra will use the giraffe as an extra pair of eyes. You are 1,035 million percent correct, Hunter. That's exactly what that giraffe, what the zebras will be using the giraffe for, and vice versa, the giraffe using the zebra for, is an extra pair of eyes, ears, and of course, an extra nose to help smell if there's any lions or anything coming around. But nothing so far, but this is the d exact area where we had those lion tracks. Now we don't know if they're the same ones that uh, James has had or if there were a couple of males on the property.